Hey everyone, Alex here. It's been a long time, but we're embracing work from home. I'm sat here, I'm gonna bring you a new type of video series right here from my apartment. So one of the things that I'm passionate about as a product manager working in tech is building great products and experiences that people love that solve real problems. So the episode that we're on right now is gonna be focusing on the problem that we all have. And that's getting the latest coronavirus updates or COVID-19. And we need a way, all of us, to stay on top of what's happening and to stay safe and stay informed. The experience we're gonna be looking at is the Bing Coronavirus Tracker. It provides a global interactive map so you can see the different affected regions and zoom in, zoom out, see different news. And we're gonna be diving into that in just a second. For full transparency before we do, I'm a full-time Microsoft employee, and I'm required to say that whenever I'm talking about Microsoft products. Okay, so let's get into it. So I've opened up here bing.com slash COVID here on my phone. You can also get to it on your desktop PC or laptop browser as well. Alternatively, you can download the Bing app and see it from there. But for this video, we're gonna show you bing.com slash COVID on the iPhone. So here you can see straight after loading it up, we're presented with a big, beautiful map of the world that shows us the absolutely staggering impact of this pandemic. And before we go any deeper, I'm gonna click the information icon here on the top right that tells us where the information comes from, a collection of trustworthy sources, and when the information was last updated, which is in fact three minutes ago. So it's up to date and it's trustworthy. So now we can proceed. So you can spend a lot of time just browsing this map. You can go down here, you can look at Europe, you can zoom in, and you can really start to see the granular detail and the, the spread from region to region as we zoom in here to London to really look at these different boroughs and see what's going on. I'm gonna zoom out, I'm gonna go back over here to the US. So you can go to wherever you, you're interested in looking at, wherever any loved ones you have might be. We're gonna select, uh, we're actually gonna select California. And then in this case, go and look at the different states. So my geography of it isn't very good, but Maybe you know, Santa Barbara's right there. We can go and we can see active, recovered and fatal for different states. And you might be noticing that the card here below is actually updating contextually based on the place that I have selected, which in UI terms is super convenient. I don't think that's the official word, but it saves me clicking around in lots of different menus. So you can really dive in and see a huge amount of information, depending on where you've gone on the map and what you want to see. So what is this information that's available below? I'm gonna go back to the global view so I can give you a, give you a look. So we select the, the filter view, global, done. All right, so we're back here on the global view and now let's start to scroll down. So we have overview and graphs. We're gonna stay here in the overview tab for a minute. For a minute. We have active, recovered and fatal on a global level. So over 1 million active. News, trends, comparisons by different countries, trending topics, videos, and a quiz, which we will be taking a look at. So you can see that this is really a hub of information. It's not just a map, it's a place you can build a habit around just to kind of come back and see all the information in one place. Maybe you set it as your homepage or something, whatever you, you feel like doing. When you select here on the trends, you can see the, the changes over time. You can look at the comparisons here. And these trending topics are particularly interesting because they, <laughs> they answer a lot of questions that I've personally been having. I've been, uh, I've been looking at this more on working out stuff, less on working out. Yeah, I've been doing less on working out, that's for sure. 
more on food delivery, right? The apps you can use, how the restaurants are doing, more on food, what you can do. So if you click on one of these, like this Forbes one, it will open up. Ah, oh, this actually looks like a good one. Vegan chocolate brownie recipe. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to save this, but it's gonna be in my, my browsing history, so I'm, I'll come back to it. And then videos, if you selected a video, it would open it up here and we can see the CNN video I won't click play to, to go into that, but you could come back and have a look at that yourself and it will go full screen, you can have a look. And then the quiz, so now is the time, let's have a look. So take the quiz, debunk the myths with this quiz. The coronavirus can't be transmitted in areas with hot and humid climates. I believe that to be false, but I know there are people who have gone to hot locations to try and avoid it. But currently it looks like there's no evidence that that's gonna help. Taking a hot bath is, an, is effective in preventing the coronavirus. If that was true, everyone would be taking a lot more hot baths. I would be taking more, I don't, I don't do baths, but I would be doing them. I wanna say false. Next question. The coronavirus can't be spread through mosquito bites. I'm gonna leave you to answer that one. I'm sh I would obviously get it right, but for now I will hold that for you so you can, you can add it to the comments if you think you know what the answer is to this, or you can go and do the quiz and find out what the correct answer is. But this is a, to me at least, an interesting, fun way to learn and not have to go and browse through other Wikipedia or wherever you might get your information. So we can go back up here. I wanna show you the graphs tab because I think that's gonna appeal to a number of people who want to dive into the stats. It's gonna be hard to go into this in the video in immense detail. This actually might be one thing you launch up on your desktop browser so you can see in even greater detail. But as we go down, Confirmed, linear scale, log scale, recovered. I will admit, I've kind of forgotten what linear and log are. Um, all right, I would, I could do a quick search, but I, I won't. <laughs> Distribution of confirmed cases. So yeah, so there's, there's just a ton of information here. You can go and select Madrid and see this, Lombardy. Obviously hugely affected regions. We can go back to the global view, Turkey, see what's going on there. 38, was it 38,000? Yeah. Obviously you're seeing that whenever I hover on the screen with my finger, you're getting all the different stats. Confirmed case trends. You get to see graphs like this, which is very intriguing. Um, you can go and you can deselect the countries that you're not wanting to compare. So you can see US compared to China, or in fact, US compared to UK, because that's um, interesting to me. Confirmed case trends. So you're seeing a lot more, uh, obviously a lot more US than UK at this point. And at the very bottom of the page is a full printout of every stat for everywhere, if that's, if that's something you are interested in, in looking at. So we're gonna go back to the overview tab because I want to show you what happens when you select somewhere and you start to see this contextual information. So I'm gonna select New York. Um, up here, New York is what it says. New York, United States. All right, good. So overview, now we just start to see news that's related to New York. but also trends and health and information that's relevant to New York. So imagine you live in New York, you're trying to find where do I go to, to figure out what, what I need to do, like where are the facilities, where's the, where's, what's the helpline, like all of this is right here and the type of information and, and the, the, the ability to get to it fast is, is stuff you can get to with this map. So go and select a different region. Maybe yeah, we can do that right now. Uh, Louisiana, haven't selected that before. 
Health and information right there. That's good. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope that was interesting. If you find it useful, you should share bing.com slash COVID with your friends, family, people you think might be interested in staying up to date in this kind of way. If you have any comments for how we can improve this video or tools that you use, whether it's how you use this one or one, a different one of your choice, please add that to the comments so we can all learn and experience it together. Uh, otherwise, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see other similar videos in the future, hopefully not all around coronavirus, COVID. But otherwise, stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.